the body will tend to go forward because the body will then fill with gas. Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am dying to know. Hello, everybody. Hi. How are you all? Hi. Hi, Cal. Hey, Cal. Speaking to us yet? No. I have to live with him. <laughs> it's very awkward living with somebody. Oh, didn't you get the memo? No, I didn't get the memo. What memo? Oh, she's not a very good supporter of this channel, is she? Like, clearly we got the memo. Cal and I do have some things, you know, in common. What's that? Uh, T-shirts today. Yeah, I forgot my T-shirt. Uh, you didn't tell me. He's not talking to you. Oh. Maybe he's just not talking to you. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Because he and I know. Oh, <laughs> I think you can get the memo. Maybe you could lift your game a little bit. Yeah. I didn't know he was uh, found driving the prison bus. <laughs> what? Yeah. I have photo evidence. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, can we show everyone? Yeah, we can. Okay. Wow, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Driving a prison bus. Mm -hmm. Yes. He lives a sordid life, doesn't he? He does. Interesting. Yeah. Hello to all the prison wardens out there. Yes. Hi. Uh, okay, today we have a question from Mike. Oh, hi, Mike. Hello, Mike. How are you? Uh, that was weird. I said that really weird. Yeah. Anyway, how, how are you, Mike? <laughs> um, and Mike wants to know, no, actually, Mike said that Mike... The worst funeral Mike has ever been to was yep. a person that had died in water, had been dead for three days before they were found. Mm -hmm. um, it was so bad. It was a graveside service and it was so bad that the coffin was bulging, the person was so swollen, and that there was a horrible smell. Okay. And I thought, like, there was no question there, but I thought that maybe you might have had some experience with people dying in water. And you could probably tell us a little bit about what you would do in that situation if someone was found, you know, uh, yeah, absolutely. three days later. Yeah. Um, yeah, people that drowned in water, uh, say, I don't know, uh, whereabouts in the water? Was it in sea, river, you know, what kind of uh, environment as well? And it depends on the environment and the temperature as to the condition of the body and depends how many days or so three days. If it was cool, cool water, um, the body would be kind of like refrigerated, like we have in cold storage. So, you know, liver mortis would set in as normal, you know, where the pooling of the blood red and speckles. the red speckles. Mm -hmm. And um, the body will tend to go forward because the body will then fill with gas and it'll lean forward. That's why you usually get the redness all on the front. Why lane. does it lean forward? It's just filling with gas and it kind of leans forward and that's when they come to the service days and days later. That's when they get found, you know, days later. Right. But it's in a cool environment. If it's in warm water, they would decompose pretty rapidly and mm -hmm. quickly. So what's happening there, if it's in cooler water, is the body's doing the normal, you know, decomposing in a cooler environment like the wood in a fridge if we didn't touch them mm -hmm. you know gas will build up liver mortar spills up and and all of that so what happens is the body will bloat with gas mm -hmm. and say three days later the body's uh, bloated with gas which sounds like uh what uh being described there so if i get a body in been in water for a long time liver mortis is quite obvious swelling We've got purging, so the body's going to purge because, one, we've got a lot of water, like, internally. Has been taken in. Yeah, but the gas in the purge is due to decomposition of the body. You right. Know, like when somebody dies yeah. normally and we get bloating and yeah. I have to, embalming would be good for this um, case, you know, to, um, one, stop that uh, decomposition in its tracks right there, uh, straight away. And uh, once you've embalmed, you'll have to embalm with a high index just because we've now got one, well, the bloat and the purge and the uh, water and edema will just set in. So basically swelling of the tissues. Skin would probably be slipped off. The top layer of the skin's probably Because of the water, like yeah, soaking, soaking in a bath in. Yeah, basically situation. that, right. Yeah, so loosen off all the skin. So, um, you know, we've got that skin slip starting. We've got a lot of edema. We've got a lot of fluid. So... Uh, if your embalming chemical uh, index is not high enough, you know, the water will 
weaken it. So basically water... Dilute it. Yeah, it's just right. going to uh, dilute your solution. So you have to have a stronger solution to compensate for the amount of water that you've got to try and clear. And um, what decomposes as a body is fluid. So, you know, you get rid of the blood and the uh, water and all the contents. So embalming with what we call a dry out additive... <laughs> It's quite logical, the naming. <laughs> dries out the body. And embalming, that's what embalming does. We dry out the body. We need to dry out the body to preserve it and hold it. So I would embalm. And then after embalming, you would cover the aspirate, which will definitely bring all that bloating down and get rid of all the fluids and everything, you know, and all of that. So once you've done that, if the body's left for a few days, will it bloat again? It can. Yeah. Right, re-bloat. So, yeah, I was just right. trying to say. Oh, okay, so sorry. After, Usually, um, with a body that's in water, I wouldn't dress straight away after that. I'd leave it until right to the day of the funeral or maybe it's the very next day before the funeral because often the body will re-bloat. So, you know, we've got more gas build up and everything, and especially if the body's not embalmed. So if we're not embalming the body and we're just going to cover the aspirate, which we can, and we can get that fluid and the distension of uh, the stomach and the bloating down, um, we can um, aspirate again. So you can aspirate quite a few times, okay. you know. So you've aspirated once, you put your cavity embalming chemical in, you come back the next day, it's still bloated, you can aspirate again. And Take all that out and, and then, then put, put more fresh in. in. Yeah. Right. So you got to keep doing that and doing that until you you know you know the body's not going to uh, bloat again and keep that body long enough for the air service. So it sounds to me that maybe there wasn't enough preparation done, or maybe the the preparation that was done wasn't thorough enough. You know, wasn't noticed enough, and then I don't know the day of the service. Did it happen? I don't know. I don't because I don't know the circumstances of the death, uh, what temperature water was, where it happened. I really can't comment on that actual thing. But that's what I would do with a body that is presented that's been in like a river for three days, and it's you know we've got bloat and, and we've got uh, edema and all of that. That's exactly the way I would take care of. Question? Body. Yes. When you talk about the body is bloated, because you hear that a lot about bodies in water, mm -hmm. I know there's edema mm -hmm. and um, that's because of the decomposition, not because it's taken in water through the skin, right? Yeah, yeah. But because our skin's waterproof until it breaks down. Yeah, until it breaks down, yeah. But are the limbs swollen as well? Yeah, with edema. With edema. So, yeah, so once edema. the time's passed enough for the decomposition to jump, yeah. jump in and yeah. make that happen. Yes. But it's not because they've been in water. That would happen anyway. Yeah, that would happen anyway. Right, yeah. okay. So the distension from the tummy is also just decomposition. Stop decomposition, even though water would be in yeah. intake into um, like the orifices, basically the openings of everything. Uh, it's not... It's not really the water that's swelling you up. It's the decomposition yeah, okay. of the gas and it's the Thank bacteria. Yeah. It's the bacteria that's bloating, you know, that's doing the bloating and it's all to do with the normal natural decomposition stages. So if we had a body died outdoors and we didn't find this body for a while, it'll naturally do the... So the difference would be the skin slip skin because slip. of the contact with the water, yeah, like yeah. being in a bath for too long and you go wrinkly. So yes. it's past that, past yeah. that, past that. So we're that. getting fluid that's lifting the top layer. So it's getting under the air. Uh, yep. Your germs, your skin, it, the water's, you know, your body is breaking down with a normal uh, decomposition. And once it starts tearing and breaking, it just, you know, you'll start getting that degloving yep. where you could just basically... Slide it off. Slide the skin mm. right off, you know, come off total like you can put your hands in like rubber gloves. So from your experience, there wouldn't need to be a situation where the people at the funeral knew anything about smell? No, there shouldn't be. No, not if the preparation's been done right. correctly. It cool. should be. It, we, that's what a funeral place does and that's what morticians and embalmers do. We're preparing the body to stop that. I mean, there's cases where the decomposition's so bad that even embalming, like, and I'm talking really badly yeah. decomposed bodies, and that's, like, weeks, not days, where it is still really hard to mask a smell. Yeah. You know, but there is stuff you can dull it down with, so... And would trauma to the body, say, 
hypothetically, don't know the situation that we're actually talking about, but hypothetically, if a person, say, in a river or an ocean and animals have had a bit of a go oh, absolutely. and there's open wounds as well, does that yep. make it happen faster? Absolutely, much faster. So if you're in water for a few days in, in say, it's tidal and you're being smashed about, against rocks, you're or... going to be uh, grazed against rocks animals are going to uh, fish are going to get um start nibbling at you and stuff like that so there's a lot of stuff going to break the body down straight away and once we've got all of that happening then decomposition is going to happen even quicker because so it's like everything can get in yes yeah, yeah and okay. bacteria is going to start really fast so the, again it's a you know it's a question i kind of can't answer as in that case yeah because there's so many different but there was no things. question so that's okay yeah <laughs> So my idea of what the process should be when we, or what I would do uh, with a body that's in that water in a river or a sea or something like that. Thank you for starting that conversation. Yeah. I think that's an interesting one to talk about. Yeah, we, well, I think we did a video years ago on that, but we haven't we done it for a while. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, interesting. Thanks. Very sad. If anyone else has got any other questions, send them in. We yes, want to hear from you. Yes, we do. We do. I'll call here from you. Hello. I reckon we should start him doing our questions. <laughs> he can answer the questions for people. Yes. You just flick anything that needs answering, you know, you do that. detail onto oh. you. Yes, you could do that. <gasps> I have an idea. <gasps> what? So Tracy and I have started something new. <laughs> We're doing martial arts now. Um, we have our reasons. Yeah. Yeah, so we know Ginger Fist and we know the other one which is something i i don't know whether that's something i fist what i don't know anyway we've only just started but i just had a thought what cal practice dummy oh we could practice martial arts yeah him. okay oh yeah we could do that couldn't that be fun that would be fun we could hang him up so by I... his little hair yeah by his hair thread go... <laughs> poor cal he's uh, just a punching bag yeah i just had that idea while we we're sitting here yeah he's got He's probably hurt our knuckles, although it's good training for your knuckles. Yeah. Because he's a bit bony. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Cal. Thanks for volunteering, Cal. <laughs> he's so good like that. Yes. All right, guys, till next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.